could have you arrested for breaking in here. Carter, you've discovered the holy grail of modern medicine. Why the hell would you keep it buried like this? I'll tell you why. Because there's far more money to be made in treating a disease than in curing it. Why cure someone of cancer in a day if we can treat them for a lifetime and bill them every step along the way? What? That's insane! Hello. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Happy Sunday. I hope that you guys went to church. And I know that it's difficult during this time. There are a lot of people unemployed. There are a lot of people going through a lot. So I'm wishing everybody the best. Now, the thing is, I've been off of YouTube for like a while. And like, it's because I have my own personal things going on. But today, I wanted to talk about something that has been on my mind for ages. And that is about the corruption and the truth about the medical industry. Now, I'm African American. And as a lot of you guys will know, us African Americans tend to distrust the medical system. Like due to years of abuse, overpriced insurance, and historical events such as the Tuskegee experiment, a lot of us African Americans naturally distrust the medical system, especially the pharmacy industry. Now the thing that I have noticed about the medical industry from my past experience is that they are very corrupt. I have noticed that they're very quick to put you on medication. They're very quick to prescribe you various medications for all the symptoms you may be having rather than find the root cause of the problem. So say you have, never mind, but they don't like to look for the root cause based on my experience which I'm going to be sharing in a little bit. And like I've had my doctor tell me this before that they have to stabilize you. They have to try to stop your symptoms. But this is the way I see it. I understand that they want to stabilize your health. They want to like keep the symptoms at a minimum. But at the same time, it's best to look for the cause. It's best to actually fix the problem. It's like if you have a cup and the cup has a hole underneath. Now you can keep now you can keep uh putting tape or duct tape underneath that cup, right? And not that much water will be pouring out, but water will still be pouring out. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So, it may temporarily patch the problem, but it doesn't fix it. And that's what I want the medical industry to do. Actually fix stuff instead of trying to prescribe you all these medi medications that have potential side effects. Like, I personally grew up watching one of my relatives. He has a couple health problems. And he's on so many medications and he seems to not get better. And then when I voice my opinion about the medical industry, I look crazy to them. I look like I don't know what I'm talking about when I do know what I'm talking about. So the best way to honestly treat your body, take care of your body, is to exercise, eat a balanced diet. So make sure you're getting all your vitamins, all your minerals to limit your stress to get rest and to just abstain from certain things such as alcohol drugs all of those good stuff and i promise you you're gonna be healthy now at the same time there's always going to be diseases that you may be genetically prone to all of those good stuff but i honestly believe that if you really take care of your body mentally physically and also you take care of yourself spiritually you're gonna be fine because all these medications are not doing much for you do you know how much times i took tylenol and my headache would not go away 
So the medical industry is very, very corrupt. And as you see in the video that I posted earlier from Family Guy, the medical industry is very corrupt and it's not conspiracy. They rather make you a patient for life rather than to, rather than to cure you of anything. It's like Carter said in that video, why cure something when we can make somebody pay for it? It's, it's like chemotherapy with cancer. Your skin is literally getting burned from the inside and it's not really healing you. I believe that there are a lot of traditional herbs that God blessed us with. Those traditional herbs, herbs can really help us take care of our body. I mean, even uh, weed. Weed has some medical benefits. It can help with stress. It can, it can really help you when taken in the right amount and the proper way. It's the same thing like I had some garlic earlier today and I feel very, very good. So the thing is, God already gave us everything we need on this planet to take care of our health. During Jesus' time, they didn't have 900 pills. They didn't have the pharmacy industry. And they were still doing all right. You don't need all of this. It's really to deceive you. Because if the, pharm if the medical industry really cared about your health, Healthcare will be more accessible and affordable. A pill that costs 25 cents to make would not cost you $800. If this country cared about your health, healthcare will be more affordable. Everything will be more affordable. Like, there's just too much corruption going on. And all of this stuff in place is to just really deceive the masses. The masses think that it's okay taking five pills to treat a common cold. The masses think that it's acceptable that we're being forced to take a vaccine. It's lose your job. There's no more religious freedom. So at the end of the day, people really need to think. They need to ask questions. They need to stop believing what they are told and actually do some critical thinking. Like people go to school their whole life and still lack common sense. They still lack understanding and reasoning. So at the end of the day, the pharmacy industry is not your friend. The medical industry is not your friend. Every system in this country has been corrupt, and the medical industry is by far the worst. Anyway, thank you guys very much. Have a blessed one. Continue being great, and please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.